Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving yourself. Uh, giving others, pushing out love and light, trying to stay positive and get away from the negative thoughts because I know that can be hard at times. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just about telling me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or gave you you know give you good vibes that you would love to share with a family friend or even a fellow empath that's really going through some trying times right now please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up and like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support and you know um the love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm trying to turn it up because you can't barely hear it Okay, there it goes. Um, third eye chakra opening meditation music. Raise intuitive power. Activate uh, ang on it. angina. Angina positive beats. In en energy vibes. I don't know what that is, but, you know, hey, I'm posting it in the link description box below. <laughs> so, with that being said. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's remember teachers are always quiet always quiet during the test you know you were getting tested left and right like i told y'all we have been getting activated like i told you um before when i get my visions like my third eye will open way the heck open i just see y'all like this and then i just see light switches just popping up like a spotlight just coming on towards everybody you know a lot of empaths you know we're about to we're fighting whatever crazy war and i don't really think it's like a war war but you know just like metaphysically you know um I don't really feel like it's like the, the, the what's that the remaining if anybody ever heard of that movie called the remaining it's like people are just getting snatched up left and right and stuff like that but there's certain people that remain here but it's something very powerful that's coming our way and you know we're being tested left and right you know if there's anybody who has addictions you're being tested on that i know i've been getting tested and thank god i passed my test um, because it's just like when you're really going through some trying times, especially if you know you've, you've been addicted to things. Like with me, like I told y'all before, I had cigarette issues. Hell, hell, I even had a pill issue back in the day. But, you know, I really don't take pills like that unless it's like, you know, pain reliever for my headaches and stuff. But other than that, you know, I was on some serious things like Oxycontin, uh, Percocet, um, Dilaudid, Demerol, stuff like that. You know, it's just like I would get shots when I had Demerol. Um, what was it? Xanax. Uh, and I really had bad, like a bad addiction. Uh, what is it? Somas and BAC, stuff like that. But thank God I was able to get away from things like that. You know, I'm, you know, I'm open to be able to tell people because a lot of us go through things. You feel more comfortable with you dealing with folks like especially when you're looking at motivational videos because like i told y'all before if y'all been with me for a while i had a boss that said oh i'm a drug counselor or whatever and i'm just like oh, okay so what were you addicted to and he was just like what you mean was i addicted to um were you addicted? did you have an alcohol you know alcohol uh addiction did you have a pill addiction did you have a marijuana addiction crack cocaine heroin you know anything like that he was like oh no i just went to school for that and i had to bust out laughing i said look not to be rude or anything like that but you know he I had one of those bosses, especially if you know your empath, you always got somebody that's over you or either a coworker that's swear up and down they know every damn thing. But, you know, he was like, oh, I'm a counselor and stuff like that. But it was like me and the other coworker, we've both been addicted to weed or whatever, or, you know, medicine or whatever like that. And I said not to be rude or anything, but if there was a crackhead that's just been sober for the last 10, 15 years, and then there's you 
don't think I'm about to pick you. I'm about to pick somebody who actually had a, you know, addiction issue. I'm going to, you know, because they know what it feels like when you get stuck in a wall, you know, stuck in that corner, you know, being stressed out, dealing with certain things, you, you know, you're stressed out trying to figure out how you're going to pay your bills, you know, your kids acting up, your, your other half is really stressing you out, you know, you're going through all these different finance situations or whatever, and then you, the easiest route that you pick is to pick up whatever that was that you, you know, you tried to stop using. So, you know, I would rather go with somebody that other than a textbook person because they're, they're not going to tell you how you feel when you're stressed out, when you're ready to pick up something. So it's just like you're constantly being tested. Things will get put in your, 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 you know, in front of your face to see if you're going to, you know, uh, go back to that bad habit. Or are you going to do what you need to do and, and walk the other way and deal with what you got to deal with head on? And it's just like I always say thank you to the universe because there are so many things that has been put in my way to where I'm surprised I've not picked up another cigarette. I'm surprised I haven't rolled up anything <laughs> or, you know, start, oh, or, okay, give me a, you know, a wine cooler or a bottle of wine and just have me a drink. I've been doing everything sober and I just have to give myself, you know, a pat on the back. Even though I might talk about that a lot, it is that's really important to a person, especially if you are at it, you know, that you can sit up here and say, hey, I'm going on almost five months sober, you know, sobriety. So it, it's just like a blessing, whatever, like you can sit up here and say, oh, I'm going to have a good day. I'm not going to allow anybody who throws negativity my way, you know, mess up my day. Just and then, you know, God and universe got that little, you know, crazy dark humor, like, okay, let me go ahead and throw this into the, to the mix of them. And just to see how you're going to respond to it, you know, and it's just like, I'm the type of person, you know, I know a lot of people can reflect on it, I mean, can relate to it. I'm the type of person, you ain't going to chomp me off. I'm going to sit up here and have a last word. I got that little smart mouth and people grown to hate me because of my mouth, because I'm not that one, you know, some people just look at you and be like, I want to say this. I'm that type of person I'll say, I'm like, damn, did I say that out loud? Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> you know, and it's just like with my dad, I said, oh, you better than me because, you know, he gives you that look and I start busting out laughing because I know what that look means. Me, I'm that, I'll give you that look. Plus, I'm going to tell you what I feel. So it's just like, I had to come out of that. I had to stop, you know, everything does not always have to have the last word. You know, just sometimes people you got to walk away from because that's what they want you to do. To sit up here, let me press our buttons. Let me do, like I told y'all, I've had people come out here on my, my channel acting stupid. And I'm just like, hold up, this is my channel. I can see if I'm coming to somebody else's channel doing that, but this is my channel. How are you going to tell me what I can say, what I can't say? You know, if there are certain things that come to me in visions or you know I, I meditate and I ask you know um universe God is there something specific that you need me to talk about today yeah because there's a lot of people who are being constantly tested you know there'll be things that you you know like with me in my situation memories keep coming back there you don't know how many times I want to pick up that phone and call my my, my ex-family and just tell them how much hell you put me through but then that's giving them power over me you know, they'll, they'll hang up the phone and think that mess is funny because they're like, oh, well, we still know that it still bothers her for what we did to her. I haven't talked to them folks in, God dog, almost going on a year. You know, it's like my, my adopted father, he would reach out to me and I'm like, look, stop reaching out to me. I don't have nothing to say to you unless you got something to give me that you know you owe me or you, you know, you need to give me and tell me the truth. We ain't got nothing to talk about. But it's just, you know, I had to keep going about my business. I have to do what I do because it's just like everything happens for a reason. There's a bigger picture than what we we only can see because, you know, it's just like our peripheral vision, our bird's eye view, whatever vantage point. You know, it only goes so far, but universe knows the reason why we're having to go through this. Sometimes it takes us to be able to sit down and you know, step back in a minute and just ask why am I being put through these constant tests because we need to see how strong you are. God is going to put, you know, his stronger soldiers to the test because he knows you'll be able to battle this. You've been a badass for years, many, many, many millenniums, and you were able to get through worse things than this. But this time you chose to pick the most worst thing to go through this time because you were like, yes, I can make it. I can do it. And I know you just want to slap the heck out of yourself like, what the hell was I thinking? You thinking that you knew you were going to be able to get through this, you know, and it might be hard. It really is, you know, but there's a reason for everything. The, the pain and the struggles, the setbacks, the mistakes is making you stronger than you even realize. You know, it, it, 
you know, darkness will throw things on you just for you to say, bump it, you win. You're not going to allow that to happen because God ain't even going to allow you to think about that. Because you might say give up and then there'll be some sign that's going to make you want to come back. You know, because I mean, there's days that I don't want to make a video because I'm upset and I'm in my feelings. And it's just the blessing of God, the blessing of the universe. Y'all send me these beautiful comments to say, Rosalind, your videos are really helping me. They have helped me heal. They make me know that I'm stronger than what I realize. You know, it makes me want to just keep going. And I mean, there's days that I sit here and I cry. And I tell y'all this a lot because I'm just very grateful for y'all. You, you tell me I do, you know, so much for you. In return, I'm, you're doing the same thing to me, knowing my dreams are coming true, being able to help people understand why we are the way we are. You know, it, it's not easy being who we are. It's not because we gravitate towards everything. We feel everything, you know, so it, it's just you're being tested. You know, universe is not going to say nothing to you. They're just going to see which way you're going to go or you want to go the right way. To better yourself to make you that best version of yourself or you can go back to your old habits and pick the easy way out because it's so easy to give up what's the hard is when you keep pushing you might have to take a break that's fine take a break you're able to do that but don't lose sight on what you what you're heading for because it's not going to be easy going through that trust me i know <laughs> you know i know because it's just you would people would know my situation they said well you know rosalind they said you know he doesn't have any children you you know you're entitled to this and that. yeah they know what i'm entitled to yeah those lawyers really put me through hell because they knew who i was they were just trying to see how much i knew but Everything's a lot bigger than that when you're dealing with a lot of money and there's a lot of greedy people that wants to get their hand on something that's not even for them. So it, it's just like I look at things like that and I get hurt like this is my family. Why am I being separated from my family? This is my birthright. I'm getting separated from this, but it's bigger than me, me and my dad. This is way bigger than that. You know, it's just a lot of things I can't do, you know, I can't talk about or there's a lot of things that I'm going through that I really don't get the whole full picture yet but because I'm going through so much at one time. But I know I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to allow what people say to hinder me because I know the truth. <laughs> God knows the truth and my father knows the truth. So it's just like so many things I've gone through to be able to be open as much as I can be because there are certain things I can't talk about. But there's a lot of things that I can. You know the important parts on letting you know you can be put in the pits of fiery hell and you'll be able to come out not even smelling like smoke you know things like that will happen to you and it's just like you can sit back and reflect cry scream do your kumbaya yas but it's just like you're gonna make it through this you know they put you through the midst of the storm for you to be able to part the red sea and keep walking and keep it moving because you can you know it might be you know hurtful it might put you out in the worst kind of ways but at the end of the day, towards everything at the end, you're going to be glad that you went through the things you went through because it gave you so much knowledge. It, it has gave you so many different abundance, not just with money or value, but it gave you a whole lot of things that you, you probably prayed for, but you got a lot more than what you actually expected. So don't be hard on yourself. Don't, don't try to question the universe. That's another thing you shouldn't do. I, I've learned my lesson on trying to do that. Like, why would they do that? You don't do that. You know, there's a reason why you're going through the things you're going through, but you might not get the full picture of it yet, but knowing that you will pass that test. So I hope you're able to, you know, uh, resonate with the content of my video. Drop me a line. Let me know if you felt like you've been constantly tested. Uh, it would greatly be appreciated. Uh, post notification shout out goes to Art Phillips. Um, uh, Jaina Lafuel. La and uh, Mangio. And uh, much love to y'all. Many blessings. Love and light. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's me and other people are praying out there for your better days. And so much love and light you possibly can. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.